Bonjour! Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Emily. And first of all, I wanted to thank you so much for all your support last week. It was really amazing. I really enjoy, uh, you know, having a little discussion with you guys in the comments. So feel free to continue if you have any questions. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to click uh, the subscribe button and the little bell that will tell you uh, when my videos are out and it really helps my channel. So for today, you know that there was a big announcement from OM System with a new camera that was released, the OM1. So I thought I would do a video to tell you what I thought of this announcement. So let's get to it. So I didn't get up at 1 a.m. in the morning, but I sure didn't sleep much uh, because I know that there was that big announcement. They were going to release a new camera. So at 3 a.m. I just couldn't sleep anymore. I got online and I look at the, you know, the announcement, the spec, and then I spent my whole day watching uh, the ambassadors and the OM system team talking about the new camera. And if you haven't seen the announcement events, I'm going to put some links uh, below and you can watch some of the events. I really recommend it. They answer a lot of questions about this new camera and also about the new lens and uh, the OM workspace. So I highly recommend it. So obviously I don't have the new camera. So what I'm going to talk about is was I wild or not? And we all gonna be wild in different ways. So this is why I think this camera is a game changer and such a great news for OM system. For me, uh, what I wanted was a camera that was a mix between the EM1X that I'm using right now to record and um, my favorite camera, the uh, EM1 Mark III. I love the EM1 Mark III because it's very small, compact. It's perfect when I do macro. And my problem with the EM1X, it was a little bit too bulky for me. So with my macro work, I was always thinking, okay, I want to do bird, but I'm probably going to do macro. So which camera should I take? And very often I had to go and pack two cameras. Now the OM1 is basically sorting out my issue because it's combining everything I love about the Mark III and including things that were in the EM1X. So it's perfect. So now I'll just be able to put the OM1 in my bag and not have to worry about the different type of uh, shooting I'm going to do. This camera is the all-in-one camera. So for me, that was, that was maybe not a wow, but that was a yay just one camera in my bag. I'm very happy. So what was really a wow to me was in terms of computational photography. Already, I mean, the EM1X and uh, all the OMDs camera are just packed with technology. And that is what makes this camera, all those cameras, so fun to shoot with. And that's why I like to just take my camera and be excited. Oh, this is, those are all the tools I have with me in this very small body to make uh, my creativity come out, to be creative, to be an artist. So in terms of technology, they really even step up their game. Even if I personally think that the Mark III and the M1X are already, you know, on top in terms of what they're offering with technology, now they're offering a ND64, like a live ND. So I love having the uh, live ND filters, but there were some times where I thought, well, I need a stronger ND filter. And now I will have it in my camera. So another feature is with the live composite. Now you can actually uh, hand hold your camera while doing live composite. I can tell you that as soon as I get my new OM1, I'm going to try this because I want to see how it works. Uh, that, that's a pretty cool feature. So a big upgrade with this camera is the sensor. I know some people might be upset thinking it's only a 20.4 megapixel. Why not more? Well, I don't think you need more. And you really don't need um, that much megapixel when you're shooting. And if you do, well, you actually have it in camera. You could do 50 megapixel, even up to 80 megapixel. That is amazing. 
So for me, I'm definitely going to choose what images I want as 50 megapixels and have that option in camera. And that's enough. I don't need to have uh, tons and tons of storage to uh, have all those 50 megapixel photos on my computer that I will never need as 50 megapixel. Now, can we talk about this cross quad pixel AF? Because it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna allow us to be two times more accurate uh, when we're tracking and three times faster. And for me, having a camera that's gonna be faster when I do uh, focus stacking, when I do uh, uh, HDR photos, uh, it, it's very important. It's gonna help me to be more efficient with my work. So I'm really excited and wild about this new technology. And I've, I've been hearing from the ambassador who've used uh, the new camera that the, um, uh, the, the tracking is really, really impressive. I mean, now you have uh, a pets, I think it's uh, uh, canine and a feline, so dog, cat, but already with the M1X, I was able to track beavers, squirrels. I've heard from other ambassadors that they've been able to track a lot of different animals. So I'm super, super excited uh, to try the, uh, the new tracking system. And they gave us a sample of the dog tracking. I mean, check that on the video. It's really, really impressive. Can't wait to try it. And if you listen to all the first uh, look events, it sounds like they have even more features coming. So I would not be surprised that we'll get, you know, more uh, features with the tracking. So super, super, super happy to see that happening. And the last picture that was like a, a done deal for me, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to sell my Mark III and I'm, I'm getting an OM-1 camera, was uh, in terms of uh, filming, finally, finally, I'm getting slow motion. And uh, I, that was really important. That was a feature that was in other cameras and that was really, really important for me. So yeah, for slow motion and a lot of improvement with the video as well because of this new sensor, you're gonna get more light, you're gonna get more dynamic range and it's gonna be faster. So I just, I honestly cannot wait to use it. So all those fixtures are important to me, but there are a lot of other fixtures that uh, are, wow, I mean, 25% more battery. Yes, it's a new battery, but you're getting 25% more life. That's a big wow to me. Uh, there's gonna be a new, there's a new viewfinder that's gonna be um, way better. That's another wow. In terms of AF points, now we have 100% coverage. Are you kidding me? Big, big wow again. Uh, back button focusing. If you guys are into back button focusing, what? They put an extra button where now it's just gonna be dedicating to back button focus. Big wow. And if you don't, you know, use back button focus, put it for something else. This is really, really great. So I think we're gonna discover a lot of features that might not jump at us at first, but that are really, really going to be a big wow once we use them. So, as I said, I've ordered already my OM-1. I cannot wait to try it. And I wanted to see what you guys think about uh, the new OM-1. Have you ordered it? Uh, what are the things that why you? What are you thinking about this camera? And I cannot wait to discuss this with you again this week. And... Uh, I will see you next Sunday. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Bye. So I highly recommend it. Now, can we talk about the cross quad? I mean, you're not going to do star trails and hand held and hold. <laughs> I don't know what I want to say. <laughs>